what's up what's up America this is Afro Joe here with another video talking about some dumb ass motherfuckers now, I live in the south now y'all may have heard of this motherfucking business called Mo Money Taxes where they help it's like a ghetto ass H&R block help you with your taxes I don't know if y'all saw the commercial but I'm going to show you one of their commercials I'm going to show it, and I'm going to sit there and let y'all see what they say. It's the office. Mr. Green, the office is flooding, and people are waiting on their checks. What? I'm too busy. Call your local plumber. I'm calling for the power. Mr. Green, are you okay? Damn it, on it. You need to do something about this. I just moved my stuff back. I heard there was a company out there that could get your check in 30 seconds. Why they do that? It's gonna get real ugly up in here. Maybe this to make you change. <laughs> Fellas, I think this city's ready for a change. Hope they got the red carpet ready. Let's roll. Ready for change? Come to Move Money, Texas. You'd be glad you did. Now, now I say this, I say this, the reason why I'm saying this is because this is bullshit. I just showed y'all the commercial to Mo Money Taxes, and you see the logos, you see the guy that was just in the commercial, the white guy, and two of the other people that was in the commercial that works with Mo Money Taxes, and these motherfuckers, well, I'm in Nashville, uh, down here in Nashville, they were stealing motherfuckers' income money. Everybody's income tax checks that was coming in that was taken and pocketing for themselves see and it's, it's kind of fucked up and I'm glad I used that term ghetto ass H&R block because they are some ghetto ass people and it's fucked up they get into the motherfucking business to do your taxes for you but they pocketing your shit I've had I've heard people complain about where well, I got bills to pay and I went to uh more money taxes now I can't get my money because they pocketing my motherfucking money in they fucking pocket see they wanting to go get their check on a business day <clears throat> you know they open nine to five whatever certain hour and they got there at the right time to get their checks to get their paper to get that money on a business in the business hours when they went to go get their business they get their money, get their money from their business. The doors lie. Why would a business, a tax, uh, tax place, why would a tax place be closed on a business hour? Especially if it's not even after 2 o'clock. Awfully funny on a fucking Monday or a Tuesday for them to be closed before 2 you see what I'm saying? And there's people complaining. They came in. They say I went in to find my taxes at more money. But when I come to get my check, the doors locked and my money's gone. Now that's kind of fucked up. These motherfuckers are pocketing your motherfucking money. Well, y'all, I know what y'all saying. Y'all probably sitting back like, well, it ain't my motherfucking problem. Well, if you looked at their commercial and you seen where them states are light up dark green, that's where they at. That's where they at. Kentucky, Tennessee, North and South Carolina, Florida, Mississippi, Georgia. All these places. And these people are pocketing your motherfucking money. So the people, so they tell the people the best way to get your motherfucking money is go through the IRS to file a lawsuit against more money taxes. Why the fuck they gotta go through the IRS to file a fucking lawsuit to get their money? If I was the IRS, I'd be jumping on a bandwagon with the people that wanna sue more money taxes. Because they fucking with the IRS money too. Cause it's like this. When you dealing with the IRS, when you dealing with the IRS and you dealing with the 
and, and the IRS's money, the government's money, they need to realize they they playing with the IRS's money because they know your check. They take out your check taxes, right? The government's money. When they take out that government money and they collect all that money over a year's time, it's supposed to go to the government. So when you go file for your taxes, they still that money that they taking out your out the out of your check for the government. They they check okay you pay this much in taxes to the government, okay that's government money they fucking with. So why is the IRS sitting on their ass and being lazy and shit, knowing they fucking with your money? See the government don't know that. They're allowing these motherfuckers to play with their money. And they don't even they don't want to even do nothing about it. They too damn busy thinking about campaigning and thinking about them damn protests they want to lock up in prison more than they want to think about these motherfuckers taking their money. See, I, see, everybody thought the government cares more about their paper than the people. Well, I guess we was wrong. When the government ain't doing a damn thing, uh, well, yeah, ain't doing a damn thing about these people taking their motherfucking money. So how you gonna sit there and allow these motherfuckers take your money and get away with it and the people that want to sue them got to go through the fucking IRS even though they fucking with the IRS's money too? That's kind of fucked up. I don't think the people need to go through the IRS just to have a law, just to find a fucking lawsuit on fucking more money taxes. And that's kind of fucked up that y'all, these people are allowing these shit to happen. And he said, well, isn't it? y'all can sit up and say, oh, it's never going to happen to me. It's just like H&R Block pulling the same bullshit as more money taxes did. I was like, that's when y'all start bitching or turbo taxes. Then y'all want to bitch about it. Oh, TurboTax took my money. Oh, H&R Block took my check, my income tax check. Then y'all want to bitch and complain. But it's like this. If there's a company that's, that, that's fucked up and doing all these... Look, they don't even look professional when they do all these damn commercials taking certain songs and putting it in that motherfucking commercial blaming on the uh, 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 alcohol. Oh, this little hip hop scene with taxes. Now, come on, motherfucker. You gotta be professional in your fucking commercials now. Never sit up there uh, and go to a place where they got more hip hop music in the commercial than the beat. What well, I'm trying to say, never trust the fucking tax business where they put more hip hop music than business in their fucking commercials. Because that's fucked up that these motherfuckers are sitting up there taking your motherfucking dime and spending them themselves driving them Cadillacs. Now, you ain't never seen an h and Block commercial where you seen motherfuckers wearing business suits. Shop is a motherfucker looking for, look like they about to be on the cover of GQ. I'm about to go to a motherfucking big ass business meeting with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Got that hip hop shit. Now, I ain't trying to talk bad about hip hop, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and it's fucked up that these people, now the damn owner, the, the owner of more money, uh, more money taxes, want to sit there, oh, I know the people will pay them. Nuh uh, nuh uh, y'all fucked up big time. When you take, taking millions and millions of dollars from the American people, and uh, even from the even from the government, I think it should be more than a fucking sorry. I think there should be more than a fucking sorry out of this. For real, though. For real, I think there should be more than a fucking sorry. I think that the IRS need to get off their ass and do something about this shit instead of being some pussy-ass motherfuckers thinking about only themselves. Because, if, man, if I ran a business like More Money Taxes, I wouldn't be pocketing myself, pocketing these people's money if I want them to come back and do business with my business. With my establishment, as I mean. So how can you trust a trust a business, trust a business like more money taxes after these motherfuckers then took your money and pocketed it for themselves so they can buy these three hundred dollars, five thousand dollars suits and riding these expensive ass cars? 
How can you trust these people anymore after they took your motherfucking money? See what I'm saying? They ain't professional about this shit, man. Kind of fucked up. They taking people's income tax check, taking the government's money, pocketing for themselves and shit, and getting away with it. Government ain't gonna slap them on no hand. Government ain't gonna do shit. As long as they sitting up there fucking with the damn uh, 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 protesters and the fucking election, they ain't gonna say nothing. How far will more money go to take your money, take the rich folks' money, takes everybody's money? See what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are scaring the shit out of people. Oh, yeah, we, we lower them. Ain't you know, blah, yeah, cause I'm too up on the floor. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. Motherfucker, you stealing people's money. How can I trust you? How can I trust that business? And that's kind of fucked up. See? That's kind of fucked up these people do this shit. And I think... I think it like th I think it's like this that the IRS need to get off their ass, jump on the bandwagon with the people that got fucked over by more uh, uh, more money taxes, help them out getting their money back. Then after that, slapping them with a fucking big ass fucking fine, and then locking their asses up. You probably say, okay, if they sign with a big ass fine, how the hell are you gonna get the money if they lock like their ass up? If they can't pay it, lock like their asses up. If they cannot pay it, lock like them fuckers up. Any motherfuckers that has any association with the motherfucking company. I'm talking about the people that is in the commercial. I'm talking about the owner. Shutting every, shutting every more money establishment down. And having the owner and the people that was involved with this scandal lock them up. Instead of letting them go back out, continue on scamming people out of their money. So they can buy all these down $50,000 suit. Uh, $8,000 cars cause it's fucking up they taking people's money like that and it's unfair for them to be back out on the street still doing this so do you really want to go fuck around with more money taxes or do you want to go to somebody's professional that's actually going to be there and help you get your motherfucking money cause to me it sounds like more money is trying to get more of your money that's why they got the name more money cause they want your money Cause they want more money than is your money, and that's fucked up. If y'all, if y'all, if y'all sit up here and y'all watch this video, if y'all watch this motherfucking video, make sure you don't go to more money taxes and trying to get it, get your taxes back, because these fuckers gonna take your money and pocket it. And because it's fucked up that people are getting scammed by this motherfucking establishment called more money taxes and it's unfair and I think the government need to get off their asses and do something about it instead of sitting up there caring more about the fucking protesters and the fucking uh, what is it uh, what is it that uh, campaigning shit cause they gotta know more money's taking their money too yeah, you know they taking money think about it working taxes you can give it these fuckers can take money from the government and get away with it and that's how it is don't sit up and act like there ain't nothing happening, man, because it's true. I hope this shit even reached. Look, share this video with all your friends. Share this video with all your friends, giving them a brief, uh, giving them a fucking warning. Never go to more money taxes because they're going to take your motherfucking money. That's why they got the name more money, because they want your money. That's more money for them. I don't trust them. They got funny ass commercials. I can give them prompts on that. But for me doing business, for me doing business with them about getting my income tax, that's a good fuck now. That's why I go to H and R Block to get my money, get my taxes done. So if you go see, if you want your money, don't go to money, more money tax. Go to H and R Block or somebody's professional to help you get your money, your tax return. Because these motherfuckers won't. These motherfuckers gonna pocket your shit. See what I'm saying? 
That's all it is. Share this video with all your friends and families. Brief them about what's going on about more money. Taxes. They scamming people down here in Tennessee. They're getting people's money and pocketing and buying all these damn expensive ass cars. I hope this video reach national. I hope this shit damn video reach people. And make them understand, I, I ain't gonna fuck with my money if they gonna keep taking my money like that. They fucked up. I work hard for my money. If you work hard for your motherfucking money, show this video to everybody. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your cousin, tell cousin Ray Ray. Tell everybody, because I don't think that this establishment should be still open and doing business if they're gonna keep on taking people's money. Uh, hold on, let me let me stop this little rotate and show you. Do these two people look like they business men? To me, hell no. They look like they better go about to go to a damn award ceremony or go to Jay Z house. How you gonna wear a blue suit to a damn business meeting like that? Yeah, pimping all out with them damn Spencer's ass watches on. That ain't right, y'all. That ain't right. If you can't get it right, you can't get. It. If you can't get right, man, then you don't need to be in this shit. Not in the business. That's how it is, man. Tell everybody, man. Tell everybody about how fucked up more money, taxes is fucking with people. Well, everybody, this has been Afro Joe Tan like a motherfucking T.I. is. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass, move the fuck on, and go hate on somebody else, but not on me. If you like what I got to say, I said like, like, L-I-K-E. What I had to say, leave a comment, video response. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. And uh, follow me, uh, subscribe to me on both my channels, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. Make sure y'all check out Mother Wookie's uh, channel, Mother Wookie, on YouTube. And subscribe to her channel, too. This has been Afro Joe. Holly, if you hear me, peace. Peace.